There's a new street fighter on your window sill. The weapon is peace. The word is chill. Hi guys, it is a beautiful day here. I've just finished watching All Elite Wrestling's Double or Nothing pay-per-view, so I'm in a good mood, and it's time to do a review, because I want to do a bit of a retro review. I want to go back to what started this all, and it's going to be a bit of a different format. I'm going to cut between talking to the camera and actually showing some nice, properly lit, you know, hands-only display of the figure, because we're going to go to Ghost Rider. The thing that started all these videos when I just posted a random excited one saying like, guys, look at my Ghost Rider, isn't he cool? I'm so happy. I'm gonna do a proper review of this now. So what we're gonna take a look at is of course the figure and the box, and we're gonna do a little, a little five minute dive into why this guy is so cool. So let's talk about it. First of all, the box itself. It's just some beautiful work of graphic design going on here. Look at the lighting on this. I don't want to get the reflection from the sun, but it's just stunning. Check that out. And the fact that the actual figure out of the box looks so nice as well, it lives up to the hype that the box brings. And it is, it's so pretty. This thing, like, I'm not, I keep my boxes, but I'm not a box displayer. You gotta get things out. And sometimes, sometimes, I'm willing to throw away the boxes if I absolutely have to. But this is, oh, this is a keeper, this one. But as for the figure itself, oh my goodness. Take a look at this guy. I mean, you've seen him, you know, this isn't like a new release, but sometimes you gotta let things just have a second, uh, a, a second showcase because he just looks absolutely stunning. And now we've got the light coming through the window. I've got my nice little camera tripod set up here. Check out the Ghost Rider. One thing I will say, the flames, it's great that you can take them off, but it also means that sometimes they will fall off <laughs> as I'm holding and manipulating them. So there we go. And it seems a little bit funny you can take the flames off because he still has the luminous wheels, so you can't like transfer this into a real looking bike. Although they are gonna bring out, uh, they, you've got the Wolverine rider who has a real looking bike and you've got the Punisher one that's coming out. So if you want a real looking Harley, you, you can have it. But the fact that you can actually remove this front piece as well, that looks great. Cause honestly, I'm torn. This, this skull, like it looks terrific. It's the comic accurate version. And again, you've got like, the nice translucent eyes that look really cool. But this sort of looks a bit more, I don't know, like more sort of real. I felt like having the Ghost Rider bike, I always felt looked a little bit goofy. Uh, it had like in the comics, like a shield version sort of on the front as well. And I was always like, eh, is that like what Hell came up with? Was this the Hell's graphic artist going, yeah, I think a shield uh, would look would look pretty cool. Very toyetic. Uh, Hell, Hell are very, uh, you know, they value that. So the figure itself, I'm not gonna take him off the bike, but obviously you can do, but why are you gonna do that? You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous bike here. So look at, look at that skull. Look at the brown wash on the skull. How gorgeous is that? It just makes the skull come to life. And then you've got the flames beautifully added. And even if you can see, he has like a flame, uh, a flame spinal cord coming down, it just is so good. The attention to detail and even a hinged jaw. You, the jaw is hinged, you can open it, you can close it. And if you can see, he's even got the red dots in the eyes to give a pennant stare as well. Now the costume itself, I gotta say, being fair, it's not what I would ideally have myself. I would like, the gray trousers with the black biker jacket with like the spikes on the shoulders. Chances are we're gonna get that at some point, which is fine, and then being a sucker, I'll probably buy that too, because this is sort of the 70s, the, the blue button across kind of look. It's more of that sort of era, which again, is fine, but I think it could be better. So I look forward to that as and when it happens. Uh, the Ghost Rider Wave one, 
sorry, not Ghost Rider Wave, the Rhino Wave Ghost Rider that came out had the black uh, costume, but it was still in this design. So I'm not so big on the pop collar and stuff. It's very 70s, which again is okay, but it's not exactly what I want. The chain looks terrific. The same chain that comes with Cosmic Ghost Rider. I love, love, love the way it goes from regular chain into the translucent fire chain. That makes such a great effect. The, all the fire effects are just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Got the flames coming up the side as well. It just, they, they, kill, they kill it. They absolutely kill it with this. Uh, for the original retail price, which is not what I paid, uh, you're so getting your money's worth. I mean, this is just everything. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly pass this over to my friend Brida. And she is a lady who knows her stuff about Marvel Legends. So Brida, why don't you tell us what you think of this figure? Hello fellow nerds! I really wanted to jump on and talk to you about what makes this Ghost Rider figure so unique and stand out against the other Ghost Rider figures. Now, when you think of Ghost Rider, you think of grungy, cowboy, outlaw, but this one brings a very modern twist to it. It has that really sleek navy blue suit with the nice light blue pinstripe that really brings a modern kind of twist to it. It's very classy. It's very up and coming very futuristic. However, it does keep that throwback with that kind of grayscale um, skull of a face. They could have made it like stark white, but instead they really toned it down to make it a throwback to the fact that he is like a cowboy, an outlaw kind of figure. And as well as that bike, oh my gosh, those flame additions on the back are incredibly detailed. And when you lift it up to the light, you can really see all the detail that the artist put into making this figure. I can't wait to see you next time for the next figure review. Bye. And that was Breeders Red Hot Take. You're going to get a few more of these. I like little uh, interactions and cutting back and forth with people. So guys, yes, Ghost Rider. Let's take a look at him next to his cosmic counterpart. And as you can see, the two of them paired together. It's such a cool combination to have side by side. I don't actually have these displayed side by side because I have my my regular Ghost Rider in with my Thunderbolts collection, and I feel like the Cosmic Ghost Rider, I don't have many cosmic characters, so I don't really have many that would fit in with him. Uh, do I start collecting cosmic characters? Uh, probably at some point, <laughs> even though I really shouldn't. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna start getting some, some cosmic characters because I do love the designs that go with that space, space age kind of wave. So they, there you go, they look terrific next to each other. A great bookend kind of effect. So finally guys, just to wrap up, if you're considering getting Ghost Rider, if you're on the shelf about this amazing character, yeah, in case you couldn't tell from the general tone of this review, do it, get it, go for it, because Ghost Rider is a wonderful addition. And let's face it, he's, he's not Marvel A-list, but he's certainly up there. You know, he's certainly what I would call like a Marvel heavy hitter. You know, he's a, he's a franchise. He's a franchise player. Even though he's not been represented in, you know, the uh, MCU yet, well, he has been represented. He's been represented in the uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, I know, uh, but I haven't watched that yet. But I, I hear it's good. So let's, let's see Ghost Rider on the big screen, because that's what we all really want. Uh, we want the big screen, and if he is done justice, as well as this figure is done justice, then I think all the Ghost Rider fans are gonna be very happy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this little quick capsule review. Thank you for being Marvelous Legends, and I'll see you all soon. You know, one thing that I did miss out on that review was a kind of grade, like a how, how should I grade figures? You know, I, I, I love uh, grading systems that are unique to the reviewer. You know, you have Shartimus Primes, I love it! Which is a lot of fun. Uh, so I would like to do something like that, but I need to come up with an idea that, I mean, let's face it, there are no original ideas anymore. There's just versions of them. Uh, you know, a big fan of Jeremy Johns as well, who, who, who's like, you know, this, this is a good movie, no alcohol required. Uh, but I don't want to copy them, but I want to be inspired by them. So yeah, I, uh, let me have, have some ideas. If we're doing like classic grading, Ghost Rider, A+. Plus. Easy. Is it a 10 out of 10? Well, I, it's, it's not perfect. So maybe a 9 out of 10. 
which I still think is an A+. So either way, get back to me. Let me know what sort of grading system would you like to see your figures uh, judged by. And I'll come back to you soon with another retro review.